Hello family, thank you for coming by tonight, hanging out with me, trending over here, trying to see what's going on over here, I should say, so just come on in the house, sit down with me, let's spend a, a, a little quality time with each other, and let's just see what the housewives are doing out there in them streets, I tell you, I can't catch a break. But that mess that they tried to show us, I don't know if they were bloopers or they were just, well, they said they were unseen shots that we didn't see throughout the season right now that they're going through. And I was like, what had them scenes I saw? Y'all just may add it a little bit onto it. You know, it's just like having a piece of toast and you got a lot of jelly on it but it's missing some in the in the corners. And you just have to get a little bit more to make sure it's all spread out nicely. You know what I'm saying? It's a nice spread on all four corners. And in the center as well. I guess that's what they were trying to tell us. They wanted to give us just a tad bit more. But in my uh, frame of mind they could have kept that shit okay they could have just said okay we're gonna show something else we'll see y'all you know the following week you know i'm just like peter just shaking my head rubbing my head like damn that's what y'all were gonna give me to watch man i tried to uh switch on the twilight zone because it wasn't giving me nothing i sure did not want to watch the um what do you call that show the super bowl okay didn't want i didn't care for it so I just took my behind and, and got my clothes, work clothes ready for the next day. Cooked me some food, like meal prepping for the uh, three days of the week. And that type of stuff. But I ain't going to tear it too long. I just want to get in here and talk about Kenya more, honey. She's out there trending. And I want to get my family in here so they could tell me what they feel about this situation. Because she's out there spinning, y'all. Don't know which way to go. And I really feel sorry for at this point. Because I'm like, girl, can you more? Where's your storyline? Where is your storyline? You're going here, there, and everywhere. And you're still coming up negative. Unless you are fighting, fussing, arguing. Uh, pretty much want to slap the shit out of Nene Leaks. Okay, now then we on point then. We on point because you matching somebody that can put up with your antics. And don't feel no which way about it. You know, if I can put y'all in a ring and let the bell uh, summon y'all to get down in the ring and, and let hell. But of course, giving y'all protective gear so y'all don't be knocking out nobody's teeth or blinding somebody or up you know what i'm saying we don't want y'all to come looking like a, a hot mess coming out of y'all little cat fight but lord if we could put y'all in the ring put some protective gear on y'all and let y'all have we would be good we would be good in the neighborhood maybe that's coming down the line you know i might not be listening when they start having reality shows like that but it's just is what it is honey it's just is what it is but yes we're gonna be talking about Kenya Moore out here talking about she want to have more children. And I'm like, with who, boo? With who? I'm almost like, who? And my Sheree Whitfield uh, voice, who going to check me, boo? But I'll be telling Kenya, who going to impregnate you, boo? Who is going to impregnate you? Okay, girl. I'm sick of you running around him. Talking about you want more kids. And you can't even handle Mark Daly. Talking about you going to get up there and, and get into counseling. One one blogger or blogging site said you were going to get into counseling. You and Mark going to work it out. This, that, and the third. That's being blasted. Then I'm saying you want to call yourself have more children in the future and you're keeping your hands crossed i'm like girl first she was in the burning candles and incense trying to get all the evil spirits away and this that and third and now you're talking about you want to cross your fingers isn't that like uh superstition girl where's your faith where is your faith oh can you get on my nerve but anyway, yes, this story is about Kenya Moore and what she is lacking in her life and why she is still being so evil out there on them streets, okay, to her counterparts. Now, my conclusion, y'all may not like it or whatnot, but the conclusion I have come up to find is that she's miserable, she's jealous of the other ladies, and she just wants to be loved. 
those are my three conclusions I have come to uh, fight with and wrestle with because she ain't giving me nothing else. Because the one common denominator that I have found, and I've used my little clips to support my uh, my hypothesis, I should say, on subject matter, which is Kenya Moore. Now, if you look at all of these beautiful pictures I have of the women, and Kenya is no lesser than beautiful she you know we got her there but the only thing it has in common with the other ladies in synchronicity is that they're married or they're going to be married and they're happy and that all of their men actually want to tape and be a part of the show they want to definitely support their mate on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And they don't care. I know their wives cutting them. Or their girlfriends cutting their fiancés. A little check on the side. You know. If I remember clearly. I think they had a tune of $10,000. They were getting from their wives. Girlfriends. Fiancés. To just appear. And I may be wrong. And that doesn't really matter at the time. Or you could be a little solo artist. Like Marlo. Come in. Get her money. And she just let hell hey, honey. She ain't got to have no man on her uh oh hand same thing with wendy williams and wendy williams definitely supports and rides for nene leaks now what can you say when you have a friend or a foe or a foe friend that's sitting there putting you on tv on a large platform keeping you relevant what can you say I mean, let's, let's, you know, everybody say they don't like Nene. Nene do this. Nene do that. But Nene be hanging with some influential people running around now. You know what I'm saying? That can put her on to other little revenue streams. Okay. I'm just saying. Because when we, you know, she's still going to have her talk show, I think, to this year and next year. And then she's going to call it, you know, uh, farewell, uh, goodbye, Saranara. Come see, come saw. You know what I'm saying? She's going to say goodbye, but it's going to be on her own terms. And I'm here for it. Hell, she got to be like Oprah. You can't just stay on TV all the time. Not on that particular show. You got to elevate and do something else. You know what I'm saying? At least you're a household name. We know who you are. When you say you're going to do something, we're going to check for you. We're going to check for you. You may not be like what you had prior for that long stint you had on the show. Or what you call uh, the William Williams show, the talk show, the gossip show, entertainment show. It might be a little lackluster or here and there but you know hey we know who you are and we know how you get down so anything else wouldn't surprise us but we'll be right there supporting you yes we will at least just trying to see what you can give us as far as entertainment but <sighs> Nene you have people ride for her because y'all look in the um, past episodes in this last episode when Portia was trying to keep Kenya and um, Nene from fighting. She jumped up for Nene. Now I thought she's probably been jumping up for Kenya, right? <laughs> uh uh. Uh, Portia jumped up for her big sister. And as we see with Nene coming back and making up with Portia, she, Portia even spilled the guts and said, I missed you, honey. I missed you. So I'm like, hey, Nene getting all her little women to side back with her, whether they want to or not. We're just going to see when Cynthia Bailey's going to break. But, you know, like I said, Dennis like fil filming with Portia. He like taking her through the ringer here and there as well. And they ain't even married, okay? Heck, uh, Portia over there in counseling. But, you know, we're going to let her have that one. Because she ain't going to learn no better. Sometimes you got to, you know, have a hard head to have a soft butt that's so. But if life got to teach you what other people have trying to definitely steer you from, getting your heart broken and all that. But if you want to be ass out hard headed go on and do it because you know life gonna teach you life is gonna give you a good lesson all right but yeah when you look at the slides and the pictures that i'm giving you you see beautiful pictures of eva marcel and her husband being photogenic together he plays on the show supporting her you got todd tucker you know we call him the opportunist over him. He damn sure will be following Candace Kurt, uh, shirt tail, coat tail, skirt tail, however you want to put it. Then you got opportunist Mike over there. He trying to get a talk show. They didn't show with Cynthia Bailey. You know what I'm saying? He he don't care. He flowing with the baby girl too. Then you got Tanya, her fiance of 10 years plus. He come and show his support and be on the show with her. Like I said, we got all crazy Dennis. He love being on TV promotes himself promotes his hot dog factory and it just looks good 
Then you got the three partners out there. You see how it, uh, photogenic they look? They look happy. But what, what, what do you? What are we missing here? You even got OG, old money bags over there. The rich bitch, Nene, and Greg. They photogenic. He filmed with her. He support her. And you know, I just had to put that picture in there. <laughs> that's when you down and ugly. You know, you just down out and ugly. Don't know which way to go. But the brother is still there. Hell, even. Peter Thomas was filming with his wife, trying to get his groove on in the entertainment field. Cause here he wanted to put a show. But I'm just saying, these men support their significant other, whether you, their fiancés, whether they are uh, girlfriend, boyfriend, married couple, however you want to see them. They right there in the grind, trying to make that move all together, trying to stay. But can you more? What she got, y'all? Half the time she's just showing her baby girl, which y'all know how I feel about people just putting their child on, on Front Street all the time. But, you know, it's her right. She can do what she want to do. But I'm like, she spent her time alone the majority of the time, like Marlo Hampton. But Marlo Hampton come on up there in the show and give us entertainment. She gives us fashion for days. She gives, she clowns. She gets on people's nerves. She calls them bald-headed scallywags. You know, giving us a little tea and come back the next day and apologize. But now, nah, can you? Mm-mm. Can you just evil to the core? And I think the reason why she plays this part so well is because she is truly unhappy. When have you seen Kenya sitting up there joking with Andy Cohen? And, you know, just having a ball with him. Other than, you know, like I said, she appears on his show here or there. But, you know, just when they do other things with Andy, you know, um... You just never see it. Then you had a man like uh, Matt Jordan. Of course, we didn't know all about this physicalness he was going into. But he loved taping with Kenya. He loved being around her. He really genuinely, I feel, loved Kenya. But Kenya just pushed him to the side like she don't need him. And I think it has a lot to do with because her mother wasn't in her life and could show her direct love. I ain't talking about from my auntie love or a cousin love or a grandmama love. I'm talking about a mother's love. And if Kenya don't address that issue, she's going to always have that void. And she's going to be in something of a silver union, fictitious marriage, hanging out with Ma. Because that's all they doing. She couldn't wait to get that bling bling ring. But we already know how she told us he proposed to her, which was a ass backwards proposal. And I would have left his ass right there. And since that point, she ain't never had number headaches. Headaches, heartaches, and all of this. Why put yourself through it? Why not be happy like Portia? You know, she loved the penis. She loved that he got a job. They got revenue coming out the wazooka. And she's here to put up with anything. Wendy Williams, she happy. She was married. Now she divorced. But she had a good run with her ex-husband. And she said they're still friends. I, I don't know how that could be. But, it, you know, co-parenting, I can see. But friends, I, I don't know about that. But... Tanya, you know, she's having a good thing. And Kenya trying to mess that shit up for her. You know, by bringing in this cookie lady and stuff. Trying to make things there that may not be there. And, um, you know, Todd has his problems with trying to hold down uh, these business adventures. But, you know, he dealt with her. He dealt with her. And that's all I think I could see. I, I, I got to thinking about that thing, fam. I'm like, that's what's wrong with Kenya. She ain't got no stability in her relationship. But she want to make like it's okay. And see, that's a problem, y'all. Tanya Twitter, that's a problem when she don't address what's the problem. Okay? If she can address what's the problem, which is her unhappiness. The way she get on these women like it ain't nothing. But then when it's time to get on Maul, when he's acting foul and fraudulent on her behind, she can't say nothing. But let Nene pop off on her or Yovana or hell, even Portia. She got something to say. She want to think. She want to act like she want to throw them bowls, but she ain't doing nothing. She be like, hit me and I'll sue. Hit me and I'll sue. But that's about my pun intended. But we're going to get into this article that Bravo TV wrote up on Miss Kenya Moore. On her things about she's saying she wants to have more children. And I'm just assuming she's speaking of having them with more. But my question to the fam. Why? Why do you want to have more children with this man who have obviously showed us throughout summer 11, most of 12, 
that he don't want to be bothered in a relationship with you. He got the baby. He know he's obligated to that child to the day he die. Not till she get 18, but to really the day uh, she, he dies. And then she probably come to his graveyard trying to talk to him then, you know, while he's sitting up there trying to have fun with the other deceased people living a life in another uh, plane of existence. You know, she's still coming there bothering her dad. But it just is what it is, okay? But, yeah, the article that uh, Michelle Ragaldola or, let me see, Re Regalado. We're just going to say Michelle R, okay? And she put out a little article with Bravo. I guess Bravo is her uh, employer as well. But she titles her article, Can You More Hints That She Wants to Have More Children? Okay? The Real Housewives of Atlanta mom says she has her fingers crossed for the future. I'm like, girl, you need to be on your knees praying. Forget that crossing of the uh, fingers. Put all that superstitious shit away. And if you really want your marriage, honey, you might have to get off uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta. Because he done said in so many un uh, unspoken words, he ain't with this TV stuff. So, you're going to have to make a conscious decision. You have to go your merry way into the sunset with Mark Daly and be his wife, his everything. Just as long as you ain't doing what you're doing on Real Housewives of Atlanta. Or you're going to have to call it a day, stop this fictitious um, saying that you're married, you just have these little things going on, blase, blase, and just deal with your situation and keep it moving. Co-parent, it's okay. It's okay you married somebody that didn't love you or they just felt that things were a little bit rougher living with you, cohabitating with you than they expect, you know, expected. Uh, but going back to the article, it says days after turning 49, Kenya Moore is looking forward to the future despite splitting from husband Mark Daly in September. The Real Housewives of Atlanta cast member says she currently feels optimistic about saving her marriage and is even considering having more kids. Kenya, is this a new storyline you're trying to bring into fruition? Because I don't buy it. I don't buy it. I don't believe it. You can't fool us, girl. You can't even fool us with this silver union. you trying to make like this is a, a, what do you call it, a common law marriage. You know, but silver law marriage or, or whatever, but it's just like, when they you couldn't get married at one time and you're trying to marry the same sex and then it could be viewed as an agreement between a man and a woman but usually they you use civil unions for people of the same sex so that shit ain't even holding water kenya that ain't holding water you got your house hold on guys Excuse me. You got your house building on you and Mark's future with more babies on sinking sand, baby. It's not built on a solid rock foundation, girl. Can I need you to get it together? You act like you ain't got no sense out here. Just, just stay out. Of, you just play the villain, okay? Don't play the victim on uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta. Just play the villain and get it on. Cause right now I'm tired of your storyline. I don't want to see you cry no more. You can't even muster up no good tears for me to try to believe you. That's why I say you're you're rated D actress. You're a rated D actress, girl. But anyway, going back to the article, it says the Atlanta mom opened up about her breakup from Mark in a recent interview with entertainment tonight revealing that an argument between a couple ultimately led to the decision to take time apart we had a fight instead of us giving that time to breathe and figure things out after that you know a decision was made she said independent of me well no kenya you made that same uh statement different times but the statement was you could no longer be in a marriage with Maud. you would not give us any real details or anything you just strung us along and well you ain't string me along you pr pretty much strung team twirl along that's trying to be there for you but i think they even have doubts about this situation but since they ride so hard for you they ain't gonna let us see them sweat even though they know there is holes in your story, big as big as the Grand Canyon, but they refuse to give up on you. And I find that tenacity, that persever perseverance that Team Twirl has, I find it very admiring. 
Okay, I find the fortitude of that is just overwhelmingly positive. But even they see through your shit. They just won't say it, but they see through it, can you? They see through it, girl. Okay, just like the beehive get tired of Beyonce sometimes. And they have to check her, okay? They have to check her. And I know Beyonce scared of the beehive. They formed on their own, but yeah, girl, they would get her, they would get her if they have to. All right, and they supposed to be standing with her. And I would hate to see your teen twirl get on you, girl. They might shake you every which way but loose. All right, but anyway, going back to the article, it says uh, Kenya, who gave birth to daughter Brooklyn Doris Daly in 2018, also said that the stress of welcoming a baby into the family had a significant impact on that relationship. Once the baby came, things just, you know, the stress of life made our relationship deteriorate and we couldn't find our way back to it, she said. But all in all, I still think that a that a rash decision was made. Now, Kenya, you know, you even said so yourself. Ma had the baby in between y'all in your bed. Now, that's why we have cribs. That's why we have, you know, play, play sets and stuff of that nature to Cuddle that baby, swaddle that baby up where you and Mark can have some downtime, some alone time, some get together time, some time to make another brother or sister for baby Brooklyn, okay? But he didn't want that with you, girl. And even in these little videos that you're breaking out to us here and there recently, there's nothing with you and him. There's no love there. We see the love and adoration that the baby girl Brooklyn has for her dad and her dad has for his daughter Brooklyn. But what? Do you, we don't get nothing from you, girl. We don't get nothing from him. Girl, you need to stop this lie. Come on out and, and live your best life and, and just let Mark be free. Because he want to be free, girl. Even up this upcoming episode, he's giving more respect and adoration towards Nene than he is you. He's telling you pretty much act right or I'm going to have to get into your ass, okay? We're going to have a good time. You're not going to... um. Take the lead. You're not going to act out. Because if you is, I will leave your behind right here. Yes, you'll be calling Uber to break you, you know, to bring you home or whatever. And I won't be there when you get there. Okay? Because Ma got it like that. He's been treating you like that since day one. Okay? I'm just saying, Kenya. You're looking bad out in these streets. Even though Team Twirl be saying something else is going on behind the scenes. Like they sit at your table like you bring them home with you. And they know everything from A to Z. And if it's so, okay, prove it. Prove it. Just like you want uh, Nene to prove something about Snake Gate. You know. And you want Tanya Sams to prove that her, her, her fiance ain't cheating on her. You know, when is Team Twerk going to want people or want you to prove to them that you're married? Okay? That you really are in this relationship to save it. Don't you think Team Twerk deserve that? I think they do. I really do. But anyway, we're going back to the article. It says, um, Thola 2 have had a tantamonious year. Kenya and Mark have remained amicable, co-parents to one year old Brooklyn, even enjoying some quality fun time together in New York last month. Okay, yeah, we saw that. He was on the bed playing with her and she was running around being happy, footloose, free. But Kenya, you know, what were you? You know, what, what were you taping? That's what you were showing? I'm like, girl, uh, uh, and see, he already done told you, he don't want this mess on TV. He don't want, I mean, you be doing this shit on off time. It ain't even being filmed. You see what I'm saying? On Bravo time, you doing this shit on social media. And he already done told you about being an attention seeker, hard. He done told you about that. Uh, but anyway. Kenya credits daughter Brooklyn for pushing her to reprioritize and fight for her marriage. Being a mom makes you look at things different and I just have a different appreciation for life and all things that I'm living for. She said, that is my legacy, how I raised this child, how we raised Brooklyn. Now I'm getting so tired of women of today and yesterday and whatever, okay? Stop saying you trying to fight for your family. No, you trying to fight for that man or you trying to fight for that woman because you are going to make it regardless if you're in that union, that marriage 
or not okay you're going to make it you don't have to make it just to say you stayed there for the child because what you're doing is setting yourself up and you're going to be talking about that same person that getting on your nerves whether it's the husband or it's the wife and that child going to sit down here every time they're going to hear when you fussing. They're going to hear when you uh, probably be beating each other. I don't know. And why would you want to put that child in that? Because that's going to be a hindrance on their development or how they see another man or a woman, depending on what sex we're talking about. And how they get down or how they're going to live their life when they're up here in a relationship. That's not fair. And I hate to hear that when I... I, I I'm privy to information that a person saying, well, I'm just staying for my family. No, you staying because you want to stay. You want to be running that person up even though they treating you like shit. They may be beating on you like shit. They may be verbally, you know, cussing you out, uh, messing with your mentality. You want to stay in that because you feel lesser than. You probably feel like you can't get nobody else. And that is so far from the truth. You got to have self-love, people. I ain't just talking about Kenya more. I'm just talking about women and men in general when they sit there and say, well, I got to stay. Or they be like, it's cheaper to keep them. That was the old saying back in the day. Well, if I leave, they going to take everything. Hell, like Ma say, you take it, I'll build it back. You know what I'm saying? But it ain't worth my sanity. It ain't worth my mentality fooling around with you. And you made me want to sit up here and think about leaving the country or taking you out or any other things that may go through your mind. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, people need to get out of that mentality. What are you really staying for? Don't put the kids in it. Let's just all break it down. What are you staying for? Is it fear that you can't start over? Is it because you're angry and you don't want somebody else to get what you call yourself building up in that person? I mean, what is it? But we're going to go on back to the article. Okay. Um, it says throughout their marriage, Kenya and Mark split their time between Atlanta and New York. <sighs> See, I don't want to even go through this about this splitting time up with this, that, and the third. Kenya, you got to be here. If you want to stay in uh, good graces with being an employee of True Entertainment, bravo. You're going to have to stay in Atlanta. This is where your bread and butter is. This is where you want it to come back to. It's not in New York. Unless you want to be on the New York Housewives, okay? Then you might can cut a deal with Andy Cohen and just transition over. Like a lateral move over. But Mark has made it very clear he likes New York. I don't know if he was born and raised in New York, but he likes that feel. And when you have that particular situation going on, it's hard to get people to move, especially if they really like where they stay. And the only difference is trying to get you to come or not. And I don't even know if he really wants you to stay in New York. Because like I said, that last little um, site that you showed us um, on your Instagram account showing Mark while you was in New York, y'all was in a hotel. Okay, now if he is solidified in New York, he has a business there, why are y'all in a hotel? You know what I'm saying? It wasn't that homie about that at all. I see him saw luggage just thrown out. That's a hot mess, Kenya. That's a hot mess. I need you to see the light, baby. Come to the light. Come to the light and construct yourself like the woman you are made to be. Because right now, mm -mm, you can on my nerves real bad. Real big time. But I don't know, fam. This is what I feel about it. I mean, we can go on and get this recycled news and keep on. But it's pretty much saying, you know, she want to fight for baby Brooklyn. And for us over with when Brooklyn. Yeah, I'm like that, Peter, too. Like, what the hell? What? You were fighting for who? Because when baby Brooklyn, she looks like she's going to be a very astute, observant well-rounded child and if that child has to be like no way or they be telling Cynthia sometime that she has low self-esteem you know I don't know what your child Brooklyn may come out of her mouth and tell you how you treated yourself this situation and her dad girl okay Brooklyn gonna wear your ass out she really is can you? she's gonna give you a piece of her mind and you gonna be like what 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 but yeah you raised her in an environment where you're unhappy. She's seeing it. She's seeing it now. You know, I'm pretty, I mean, she could feel the tension. And um, as she grows and gets into her teenage years, who girl, she might even want to live with her daddy for what's over with. Then what you going to do, girl? What you going to do, Kenya? I'm just saying, live for you. 
and the life that you provide for Brooklyn, whether it's with Mark or not, live for you. Don't even live vicariously to your daughter anymore. Let's see this business. Can you more help products? Let's see what you do on a daily basis trying to get that to run like a smooth, well-oiled machine. Let's see you do something else with making your PSAs, okay? Your public service announcement about domestic violence, okay? And how it plagues, you know, women of the day. Or some men, you know, they're tortured too. Uh, we need to see more. I'm, I need your storyline to be a lot more than showing your bitterness, your evilness, your, can't, you know, your uncaring ways that you show for another person. I need to see some more compassion from you. I need to see something, can you? Go right now, girl. Marlo need to take your peach. Marlo need to take your peach, girl, because she know how to get into shit, stir shit up, elevate it to a certain level, then make like come back the next day, make like you know I don't know. I'm blaming it on the a a a a a alcohol. <laughs> She told Cynthia, but she told Cynthia, she said, girl, I don't know what happened. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. I just don't know what happened. But girl, you shouldn't have called me out my name either, but I'm going to apologize because, hey, and I still want you and Nene to work on y'all relationship, girl, because that's important. I'm like, it's Marlo still high from last night. <laughs> She's still high from last night. It's like you got to love her. She's funny. She's funny. I like Wendy Williams. She do some crazy stuff stuff too she talk about people she's a side out of them and all that but you know she make you kiki she make you laugh but i'm mad that she jumping on tanya sams i'm sorry and i think tanya sams is gonna be my little underdog honey she's gonna get kenya more straight can you think she uh uh running up a tree that she thinks she can win okay but that cat may come out and show her something that cat ain't um Tell you gonna come out and bite her in the ass, all right? But that's all I had, y'all. That's all I had, fam. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about my uh coverage on Kenya Moore. Talking about she wanna have more children with a man that she don't even know if she got him still. Okay, she telling us this, that, and the third. He still don't want to be in her life. Still don't want to take, and she still talking about she wanna have a life with him and have more children. What in what world? What world is Kenya Moore living in? Is it a parallel world? Is it a parallel world Kenya Moore living in? Because she's not dealing with the facts. All right? The facts that's being shown to us. Now, I don't care about this shit. But all, all screen, she doing this with him. She living her best life. Blah, blah, blah. Well, guess what? The impression that she giving us on this here television show. Like, her, her whole marriage is tore up from the flow up. Okay? And we need some understanding. We need some more clarification. Okay? Wiser heads need to prevail on this situation. Because Kenya's going around here looking like the poor devil himself okay stirring up shit and it's because she ain't happy i need to see her and mark on this show loving on each other making business moves having more children if that's what they choose to do collectively you know not kenya just trying to put some on him and just that third because she want to use up her other egg or eggs or whatnot but y'all family y'all get down to tell me what y'all think about this situation not me of course not me all right we ain't going down now we ain't going now family i'm talking about let's talk about the subject matter not me how i presented it or any of that okay because that's why i'll be bringing stuff for y'all to talk about i be telling y'all come on over here and talk to me about this situation but i ain't telling y'all to talk to me like getting on me because i'm talking about your fave okay because I give Kenya her props when she's doing stuff i ain't saying nothing Kenya is a great mom Kenya's beautiful Kenya has an intelligent mind on her shoulder. But Kenya don't like women that are doing better than her. Kenya don't like women who are in good relationships, loving relationships. Kenya don't like nobody that's married, okay? Now, if y'all can debut, uh, debunk that or dispute that, then we can have a conversation. All right, we can have a conversation. But that's all I had, y'all. <laughs> Go right now, Marlo, and tell you all my favorites. They are my favorites, okay? I'm riding with them right now. But they could do something later on. I'll be on turned on their behinds, too. Y'all call me bias, but I'm not. I am not. I could be with them one day, and I could be with them, uh, not be with them the next day, depending on if they getting on somebody too hard or they just showing their horns. You know what I'm saying? Because you can give us good drama, but you ain't got to go and tap somebody up like post 
Tanya Sands. If she out there want to believe whatever her man tell her, then so be it. It ain't for Kenya Moore to sit up there and have tea. Hey, a candidate didn't come out and tell her. Cynthia didn't come out and tell her. Why can't you got to come out and tell her? Do she want us to go dig up some dirt on Mall and have that come out? Nah, she'll be ready to fight. An, oh, she'll be ready to fight a sister then, girl. She'll be ready to fight sister. But that's all I had, guys. Y'all get down in them comments. Tell me what y'all thought. And I will see y'all next video. But before I go, please make sure you subscribe to my channel, share my videos, and like my videos. Okay, guys? Y'all be blessed. And I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.